Hello friends. Whether you are from a local place or joining us from somewhere else in the wider world, I'm Pastor Elizabeth Mount, the minister of the First Unitarian Universalist Church of Indiana, Pennsylvania, and I welcome you to our brand new YouTube channel. We are in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic and because of that, we have decided that it will be helpful for us to stay connected emotionally and socially by offering a YouTube channel with various poems and meditations read live so that you have something to keep you connected to your spiritual self and to your community in these times. I hope it is helpful to you. Today's reading is called Pandemic. It's a new poem by the Reverend Lynn Unger, who is a Unitarian Universalist. I hope you find it as meaningful and helpful as I have. What if you thought of it as the Jews consider the Sabbath, the most sacred of times? Cease from travel, cease from buying and selling, Give up, just for now, on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray, touch only those to whom you commit your life. Center down. And when your body has become still, reach out with your heart. Know that we are connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in one another's hands. Surely that has become clear. Do not reach out your hands. Reach out your heart. Reach out your words. Reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, so long as we all shall live. That's Pandemic by the Reverend Lynn Ungar, written just a few days ago, on the 11th of March, 2020. This poem has gone viral in ways that we hope the germs never will. As you listen to these words, think deeply about what they mean. What happens if you take this time to be still, to be in the time of a Sabbath, to take stock of your life, what you value, and who you hold close in these times. What happens if you draw closer emotionally with your heart, with your words, even as we are physically distant? I am so glad to be with you here online. If you like what you're hearing, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to post at least one video every day during the next few weeks. We hope that the congregation can be there for one another and for the wider world in this way. So like, subscribe, and join us on Facebook in our church group for conversation and to be part of our community as we share with one another. You are not alone. Do reach out on email, or by phone if you have any physical needs, if you need food or help getting to a doctor, if you're not feeling well, please let the church know we can help and have a blessed evening.